Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane Speed Shop. So today I'm going to work on the oil cooler adapter. Uh, I removed it already, it's very simple, just four screws. So uh, if you're new to the channel in the right corner of you my logo, you can click on it, you can go to my main page and don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and have a look on janespeedship.com, that's over here. So let's have a look. So originally this is the oil cooler that is mounted. You see this on I think all the normal aspirated versions. Uh, I'm not sure if they have them on the later 55 AMG models, the NA version like the SLK and the CLK and that sort of stuff. Uh, if they have a separate oil cooler, but on the compressor models you can have an, then these holes are blocked off, this cooling water in and out to the oil cooler, so here. Uh, there is an adapter for it from AMG, but yeah, it's expensive, rare. I don't think all the parts are still available. Uh, there was something with it, and I'm going to, yeah, they are expensive, of course. And I want to use AN uh, connections. Now, I know there are uh, AN connections for it, but they cost like 100 euros for two pieces, so that's, yeah, not very, very logical, I think. So I'm thinking of now using the other cooler on. This side was first the plan to use this oil cooler for engine oil and that for transmission oil. But I can switch them over uh, because this is a shorter routing down here than going with the lines to that side. So I think I'm going to use the other one. So I have to switch them over. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make an adapter plate for it. So this only has two holes in it. An incident and so I made, uh, just cut out very roughly aluminium plate, 10 mil thick. Um, so I will bolt this on there and use the router, the wood router, with uh, normal bits. <coughs> so the last time I lost the bearings, so I put new bearings on it, they're still sharp. So I'm going, you're going to use the same way of doing it. Um, make this a nice even cut all around. And then I have two connections, I will put holes in it and I'll weld two connections on it. Yeah, like here, here and the other one will go here. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then I also need an oil thermostat, so I have an oil thermostat for it. Uh, I'm going to put an, what was it, 90 degrees thermostat valve in it. I think original there's an 87 in, in it. So I'm going to change that. So. Once you oil just on 90 degrees, it's like the same as because always also cooling water is flowing through it, so it's 90 or 95 degrees uh, oil thermostat. So uh, that's what I'm going to do, and then I have to figure out where I have to place this one, of course, but it will be AN10 lines to it. And that's also because I have to find a way of what's the best routing around the cooling water piping, because it needs to be a, a house here. So there will be a bracket on here with two houses and this one will go this way. So I have to figure out what is the best way. So first going to cut the, the piece on the router so it's nice and tidy. Then make the holes, put the adapters on it and then uh, we come from there. So let's have a go. So piece is done, uh, I used this bit, I don't know if it, can, if it will focus or not, I will make a picture of it, uh, but it's still very sharp, you see the bearing is a little bit, uh, that's the first thing that always breaks, 
because already the cap is off. So, but yeah, it's still pretty good. There's no play in it. So it survived already, and the cut is pretty. It's pretty nice. See a little bit of roughness on it. That's because I have to go um, the opposite way of that. The bit is is turning. Otherwise, it will slip. So you have to be pretty carefully. So if you have a smaller bit, always. Uh, mount something bigger on it so you have enough grip on it. That's the same when you're doing it with wood. Always watch your fingers. So what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to use some sandpaper to make it very nice. But you can see the shape is 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 already very good. So. small M6 bolts in it and uh, the only thing what I'm going to do now is uh, send it send this piece so it's nice and tidy there are some light scratches in it but it's a nice finish on it and then it will fit perfectly on the block so I think it looks looks pretty good so make two holes in it weld the two connections on it that's next what I'm going to do so uh, this is just a regular boot router bit so works pretty good did some research you can also get some hardened material so this is also a harder material is glued on it you also have bits that you can screw them on the two small bolts in it that's the same on a CNC cutter like those bits are also you can also change the the knives on it so that's that's the same but uh, they, this works very good so Let's go get the holes done. This was works pretty good. So next, so got the uh, the plate ready for welding. Two connections. Plate two holes in it. Will be mounted like this, so the connection will be welded on here. So you can see in the back that there is two holes. Uh, this hole has a little bit of an so that's a channel in it. I'll uh, show you that later after welding why that is because there's also a longer gasket on it. Maybe you can see the print a little bit in there because the inlet is on the lower side. Then you think yeah, why you don't drill the hole in here. That was also the first thing I thought. I drilled the hole on the wrong place but if I drill the hole uh, straight through the connection in the oil filter housing then there is a cap that will keep oil in it and will not flow out of it so you can have ca have like a yeah it's like a channel where no flow is so it's better to have constant flow to the whole channel I will show it on the engine later so now I'm going to weld the two connections on it I polished it a little bit so the all the small scratches is, are out of it so I uh, measured all the bolts it's M6 bolts that they were it can all be fitted on it. I think uh, the result is pretty good. So I'm going to weld this piece. So I will put everything together and show you a little bit. So all welded and polished. 
nice and clean. So now you can see there's a channel here. I hope you can see that. I will make a picture and I'll put it below the video. The inlet is here. The channel is to the upwards. So that's why I have this channel also in here. If I put the intake lower, then the stop half will be always not filled with oil or it can get any dirt in it or anything else. I just don't, don't want that. So it's not an open piece. So I'll mount it. Can have a look how it looks. So it's fitted, looks pretty good I think, fits also pretty good, it's a little bit tight between this small pipe here, but this is the old old connection from the cooling water, also the bottom one, um, I think I'm going to, I have to remove this cap anyways to get all the seals uh, nice and tidy, so I think I will plug them off both or weld them shut, I will do something with it. So. I think I'm going to mount the thermostat something like here. I will have a look. What's the best placement? If I decide to have the have him, have him on this side or on the other side, I have to have a look. So that's it for this video. So adapter is on. I have to find a way for the thermostat, that's what I'm going to do. So I have the thermostat, the cooling pipe and the intake pipe that has to go down. So I have to find out what is the best way to put everything in there without having problems with each other. So I have to have a look what the, the best thing is to place them. Uh, also going to look as an option to use the other cool, cooler, but it, that depends on how good the connections will fit and the hose that is not yeah, too bad of a placement, so I'm going to figure out that. I'm waiting for stuff for the headlamp, uh, the filter and some aluminium material to rug things off pretty tidy in the need there. So uh, see you for the next update. Uh, if you like this video, have a look in the right corner for you. There's my logo, you can click on it. Uh, see all the other videos and give any comments if you have them. I'm open to anything. Um, so, have a look at your speed shop, link is over here, and see you for the next one. Bye bye, and thanks for watching.